to another uh, Czech Primordian Magic. Did I say it right? Yes, I hope so. <laughs> YouTube video. Uh, today I'm gonna play one of the most played decks. It's a it's a it's a blue white dreadnought. It might actually be the the most played deck. I, I'm not sure if it's the best one or not. It might also be because the like the elf deck is more expensive or whatever. But it's definitely one of the tier one decks. And the way the deck works is that it's just trying to put a twelve twelve into play. Uh, using Stifle or Vision Charm uh, and then you just have a bunch of cantrips or ways to protect the Dreadnought and you're just trying to win with that. Uh, yeah. Uh, what, what, what are you going to... You, you're going to play Thomas? Uh, yes, I, I would just like to say that I'm not sure if uh, if the Dreadnought is the most played deck but I'm, I agree that it's one of the best decks in the format because uh, especially with all the protection sometimes. What do you think is the most played deck then? I think that that people have I don't know probably something cheaper probably something I would I would expect something like burn would be yeah, one of the most right played that, yeah. decks and I think in the Czech Championship we had like 15 17 burn decks out of like 120 people so <laughs> that's a lot that's quite a lot so that's uh, but definitely if you are going to pre modern event you have to have some plan what are you going to do with the dreadnought mm -hmm. because that's certainly one of the boogeyman of uh, of the format i'm going to play like good old good old dead guy ale which is uh, basically like a bunch of creatures and disruption uh black and white it's really one of the classic decks you know from almost like uh i remember it had some kind of a surge when spectralings was printed mm -hmm. so people play this kind of a deck it plays Quite possibly the best card in the format in the form of Swords to Plowshares. So that's like uh, obviously best removal because we know in Prem there and sometimes removal is a little bit iffy. Yeah. And uh, so it's very heavily focused on Swords to Plowshares and that's why also your meddling mage. Mm -hmm. I, I can imagine it will perform quite well. And then it has it has Dark Ritual, so you can get spec uh, you can get Hypnotic Spectre turn one. So you can have not fast clock but like a lot of disruption. You have like uh, him to Turak of Premodern, Gerard's Verdict, that can give you gave you some life. Uh, you can even target yourself and discard two lands and you gain six life, mm -hmm. which is quite cool. And then just uh, your classic bunch of. Uh, this deck actually did really well in uh, in 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 our tournament, right? In our tournament, it did quite well. It it uh, was in top eight, and I think it's I think it's very good deck, especially when you have some reasonable stars. And you don't draw too many lands in a row because mm -hmm. I think that's problem with these kind of decks. They usually don't have fast clock. You're like aiming for like a mid to like late game, and you don't always perform so great there, unless you draw reason, unless you draw well. All right, let's get into the matches. All right, I'm gonna keep. My hand is pretty awkward, but I think I have to keep. So you're fine as well. All right. Yes. Let's get into the games. Go. Okay. Okay. I don't mind it. <laughs> Doesn't feel great, but I think I have to do it. Alright. Go. Now I have second best card in the format in form of Ferks and Furnace. Is that like the old relic of Pogenidus? It's like scrabbling claws. It is though, right? Yes. Okay. Sure. Yes. You should be ashamed you don't know it. Pass. I know it, but I just said it for the listeners. <laughs> All right. Go. Mm -hmm. I will end of turn, sack it, take, take wow. days and draw a card. Really, this card doesn't do anything uh, against Petra's deck. Spectre. Spectre. Uh, fish. Put 19, and I'm gonna this. Mm hmm. It always feels so good to, to play this for two mana. I think a lot of people forget you can do it. <laughs> uh, this sucks. 
Yeah, I float to blue and I gush. Mm -hmm. Fortune myself. Mm -hmm. Cards. I have seven, seven. but I draw them. Yes. Your turn, so that's fine. Hmm. Wonder if I maybe I should have waited to play around days, but not sure you can really afford to do it against uh, Dreadnought. Yes, yeah, your turn. Myself. Yes. Mm -hmm. There we go. Draw. Mm -hmm. Jazz verdict. Yeah. No, you okay, can. I, I can choose. You can choose. I mean, okay. when I said it's him to Turak, I was. Uh, it was a Joking. hyperbole. Okay, sorry. That's funny. No, I want to get in some life. Okay, go. I'm oh, sorry, I will play land. And you may go. It's important again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the third one. Oh, interesting. I mean, your, your hand will be perfect eventually. Eventually. I can shuffle, right? Yes, you can. Go. Mm -hmm. Draw card. Yes. So I'll try to rest. Double dreadnought with stifle. Hmm. Counter spell gush. Hmm. I wonder. Oh, yeah. Okay. I wonder what's the, what's the right pick. <laughs> I it's probably the stifle, right? It's possibly the stifle, <laughs> but I think I'm not sure if I can keep up with your if you if you gush again. I'm not really sure about that. So I think I will probably take gush. Sure. Mm, play land and go. So I just opt. Mm -hmm. Cards. 
my three. Yes. Go. Oh. Mm -hmm. Go. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Go. My turn. Spectre. Yes, I have eight. Oh, maybe I don't want to... Is this random? It's random. It's random, yes. I think about it a lot. Uh... Yeah, I don't play it. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Go. Yes. So I play? Go. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'll attack. You win. Yeah, that's it. I knew about the counter spell. I had one answer uh, with my when my vindicate, but uh, yeah. I was thinking for some time about killing the planes. That would make my casting your meddling mage harder. But overall, yeah, I don't know. I could have waited early not to play it in two days. Mm -hmm. But I think, like, how can you? I mean, just waiting with like a slow play in your hand, I'm not sure you, you're getting anywhere. I think yeah, I had to cast it. Sure. There was a pretty good chance you would just play counter spell on it. So I had only one island, right? Oh, you mean later? No, no, no. You, you, yeah, you, yeah. you hard cast days. That's how you countered it. So anyway, I, I, but oh, I, like yeah, uh, yeah. I drew, I don't know, five lands in a row. Yeah. So you can hardly win that. Right. Oh, so, uh, Petr, don't you want to start with your complicated sideboard? <laughs> uh, I was actually thinking to not sideboard at all, but I wanted to do at least some change. So I'm <laughs> bringing in one sword to maybe still play turn one ritual into a spectre. And I'm bringing on one foil because I think it's a little bit worse in this matchup because uh, the black white deck has like a lot of one for one answers. Uh, it's just like an attrition matchup. Uh, he has like swords to punches, duress and stuff like that. So foil can be kind of awkward sometimes. 
and I want to have the additional sword, so I'm just making this change, and that's it. Nice. I mean, we could see the previous game. I felt like I, I don't know. I drew like five lands in a row. I had two wastelands in hand that did nothing. So when you played your Adarka wastes, it was like this little inside <laughs> me, like little hope. Oh, maybe I'll have a target. So I decided to side out, uh, side out furnace. Although it's obviously amazing, uh, it does literally nothing against uh, uh, against the dreadnought deck. Sometimes they play uh, that inside card, which gives you like a big impulse, but uh, I don't think it's worth it. Then there is a Masticor, which is very lackluster threat. Uh, I don't think you can afford to discard. It can maybe kill like Meddling Mage, but I think Meddling Mage gets much weaker after board anyway, because you now have Disenchant as well. Mm -hmm. So like a, like Meddling Mage sorts the plow naming sorts the plowshares into Dreadnought is not as great as it you know is might look. I cited out Wastelands. I think. Sorry the, to interrupt you. Yes. Is it is it is it maybe the Exalted Angel better than additional Masticor? Like maybe you want to board out two Masticors and keep the Angel? I, don't, I think there's only one Masticor oh, okay. in the deck. Sorry. There's one Masticor, I was thinking even taking out the other Exalted Angel, but I just felt these cards are a little bit worse. I think Dark Ritual into Negator can be the way, although like since people figured out it's not as strong. And uh, when we were playing this long draw and go game, I, I, I felt like I would kill for Skeletal Scrying. So that, mm -hmm. can, be, that can be cool to draw multiple cards. Uh, if you don't know what this card does, uh, I will show you. Uh, basically, it's instant draw, which back in the day was really rare for mm -hmm. for. But but in black, it's black, so you have to pay life. But it's not part of uh, the additional cost, so it can be quite relevant in this matchup. All right, let's let's try it. So, so I actually find out there is another master core. So <laughs> I I put in uh, another exalted angel. Trying to trick me. Yes, I no, I was I wasn't. Go. Cool. No duress, that's good. That is very happy. Go. Aim to Durak. I don't like to see that. Alright, I'm gonna opt in response to yes. more information. Okay. Keep that. This is pretty awkward. Love it. I think right, really apocalypse when it comes to flavor is just one of the coolest set ever. Like there's so many great cards in that set, and and I always really like the flavor. It's like coming to an end, everybody will die. Something like a rogue one. Discard, counter spell, and impulse. I'd love to see it. Source of Plowshares. Source of Plowshares. Okay. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Nothing, nothing, nothing. You have like three of them in your You wouldn't understand. Charles verdict. No. Stop. Go to 18. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh so you can free life or how does it break? Yes, actually I do. Thank you. Amazing. I only want to cast this card for the rest of the game. Hit ya. Yes. All right, I'm gonna go for it. Mm -hmm. Yo. I have it all. I don't think it's gonna be enough, but... I have it all. Seal. Yes, seal of cleansing. Yeah. And... You can go. Two. Yes. Seventeen. Your turn. Draw. You love to see this card. I didn't even bother to untap. Do -do -dum -dum -dum. All right. 
Bearful Rangers. It's Bearful Rangers. I wonder what it is. Yes. Yes. I'm not going to block. Uh, I guess. Go. Okay. Now it's better to play because of cash. Go. Yes. So it seems like very easy matchup, doesn't it? <laughs> just him you three times and then uh, then you just win somehow. I'll flip it. Oh, it's an exalted angel, I see. So I go to 14, but then I go to 18 and you will die soon. Go. 14. Okay, now I know how to play this, this matchup. We all gain experience with every game, so... Tight. Yes, 16. Go. Such a Attack. misery. I go to 20. And... You can go. Tight. Mm -hmm. 18. Go. Attack. Go. I go to 22. Okay. Mm -hmm. Attack. Yes. Seems like I'm only game right? <laughs> with, with every attack you make. Happy. Mm -hmm. You can't play it. Because oh. of the aroma. Oh! Right, I'm just gonna concede. Okay. <laughs> That's so stupid. Why, why do I have a source of flashes in my deck when I'm always saying it with nothing much? Well, it's something I didn't to even consider. Realize that. Yes. But I, I, it happened to me quite a few times that my opponent uh, had like meddling mage on swords, and then I had just Mishra's factory, and he had swords in hand, and he just couldn't do anything. And he had like two, two meddling mages and couldn't attack. And go. Yes, yeah, so I, I would like to say I'm ligand to six. Go. Hmm. So if you had a sword, you would maybe play a plane instead of swamp. Or it's a bait. I don't think. I don't think so. Everybody knows it's a bait. I'm gonna say isn't chat. Mm -hmm. Go. Yeah. Spectre. Sure. Your turn. Mm -hmm. Yes. You have it. Go. Oh, it's uh, you. Uh, it would be. Um, Phased out. So actually, in response to the phase out, sorry, I'll play Source of Plushers. No! Yes. You drew that? I had it in my hand, but it does nothing without Swamp. So I started with Swamp. Oh, I didn't know about that third. If I knew. Mm -hmm. okay. I feel, I Plus feel 12. Really I feel really stupid right now. Go. And see, kids, even with that, you can win four GPs. Oh. I guess I guess I guess I Yes attack. you attack. Yeah. For sure. Attack. Uh twenty-nine. Oh. Feels good, right? That's why a lot of people play mono black like sometimes it's not very good, but uh, this feeling is amazing, isn't it? Seal of cleansing. And you can go. Bam. Sixteen. Go. 
Tech. This one. All right. And this one. Your turn. Yes, 14. Go. Attack. This one. All right. Your turn. <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself, Thomas? Yes, it's, it feels amazing. Go. I also like to give you some, you know, some little of my own blood, so I feel better about the eventual victory, which is inevitable. This one. Mm. I'll probably just play this. Nice. Sure. Go. Yes, 10. Go. Untap. Draw extra card. I go to 9. Attack. 21. Oh, this one. Now I think I have time for this. You can go. So you have the disenchanting hand. Well, I don't want to. I think it's over. I can still die from my own arena when I have. Oh no! I have Seal of Cleansing. I'm sorry. Thank you, Pedro. <laughs> what did you have in your hand? I had Duress, Disenchant, right. Vindicate, <laughs> and a Knight to do. More than enough. Yes. All right. So, what do you think about the the matchup overall, Thomas? Um. I think um, I think it's hard to tell. It's always always hard to tell who is favorite. But I think if some deck is prepared to deal with Dreadnought, it must be Dead Gael. Yeah. What I would prefer is to have like some extra removal, like Diabolic Edict, mm -hmm. some extra instant removal. You know, for like Dreadnought or the or the Mage possibly. Uh, I would really like that. Yeah. But other than that, unless you draw like million lands. Uh, it seems really tough post board. You just have like removal, discard, and like annoying threats like arena and specter. So yeah, it seems really hard. I think. Yeah, so I think one of your best chances to win this is like really do it. Turn, I mean, do the dreadnought thing. Like turn two with vision charm, untap with counter spell, and maybe daze or foil. Uh, you even have like direct ritual to play for the like for yeah. days sometimes. Yes. And stuff like that. I don't know. It seems pretty tough. Anyway, if you like the, the video, uh, don't forget to follow us on social media and click on the subscribe button and see you next time. Bye. Bye.